Hi there, let's introduce congruence triangles. Congruency in triangles is a section of mathematics that falls into Euclidean geometry. So we've already learned about lines and angles and other shapes like quadrilaterals. We are now going to look at triangles and in particular what makes them this word congruence. So to understand what congruency means, if we have a look at two triangles, the green and the blue triangle, remember each triangle has got six pieces of information, three angles and three sides. When you have an angle that is the same size as an angle in a different triangle, they are marked with the same kind of marking so that you know that they are equal. So if angle A and D are equal and angle B and angle E are equal, and angle C and angle F are equal in size or magnitude, and AB is the same length as DE, and BC is the same length as EF, and AC is the same length as DF. I think you'll agree you've drawn exactly the same kind of triangle, just in a different color. The six pieces of information in the one triangle are exactly the same as the six pieces of information in the other triangle. In other words, one triangle fits exactly on top of or underneath the other. They are the same shape and the same size. They just have different names. In that case, we say they are congruent. We use the sign that is like an equal sign but with an, equ an extra line to say they are exactly equal. They are congruent. Now, do you need six pieces of information from one triangle and the other triangle to prove that triangles are the same size and shape, that they are congruent? And mathematicians explored and discovered that Triangles would always be congruent or the same size and shape if they had five pieces of information and even four pieces of information that corresponded. But when two triangles only had three pieces of information that corresponded, they were sometimes co um, congruent, but sometimes they were not. So we are going to have a look now at the cases that make triangles congruent with three pieces of information the information that makes them the same shape and the same size. So the first case is when you have the three sides of one triangle matching the three sides of another. So AB and DE are the same, AC and DF are the same, and BC and EF are the same in triangles ABC and DEF. If we can show that the three sides from one triangle match three sides from another triangle, we can say that the two triangles are congruent. And we write triangle ABC, or whatever it is called, is congruent with the other triangle, in this case DEF. And the reason why we can say the triangles are congruent is because their three sides are equal. So we say side, side, side. So that is your first case of congruency. If the three sides are equal, the two triangles are congruent. And that means that the remaining three pieces of information will also be equal. So A matches with D and will be equal. B matches with E and they will be the same size and or magnitude. And C matches with F and they will be the same size and magnitude. Suppose we now have a look at the case of two sides that match and one angle that matches. Well it was found that this case can mean congruency but only if it is the included angle. The angle must be the angle between the two sides. If it is the angle between the two sides or where the two sides that you're talking about meet then yes the two triangles are congruent and we call it side angle side because it is in the included angle. A clever mathematician found that this is not actually the only case of where there are two sides and one angle that gives congruency. They realized that if the angle is a 90 degree, so it's a special case of side angle side or a special case rather of two sides and an angle, two matching sides and an angle where it is not the included angle but the two triangles are still congruent. So long as it is a 90 degrees and you have the hypotenuse side the triangles will be congruent and you can say it's either because there's a 90 degree hypotenuse side or instead of 90 degrees you can use an R for right angle hypotenuse side. You may choose which of these two reasons you wish to use. Remember, the remaining pieces that match are also equal. So AB will be equal to PQ in length, and angle A and angle P will be equal in magnitude. Right, we've looked at two sides and an angle. We've looked at three sides. What about one 
side and two angles? Well, it can be any side, so long as in the one triangle it is the same side that corresponds with the side in the other angle. So here we've got this dotted angle C being marked off as being equal to M, and C and AB are opposite each other. So long as the side is opposite the same corresponding angles that are equal, the two triangles will be congruent. And that is a case of side, angle, angle. So these are the four cases of congruency. You can have three sides or two sides in an angle if it is the included angle or it is a 90 degrees. And you can have a side with two angles so long as they are corresponding pieces of information. And when two triangles have got three pieces of information that make them congruent, the other three pieces of information are automatically equal to.